Last thing here, I want to give you some tips when you go into the exam. I've taken many of these certification exams, and at this point, what I've realized is that Cisco likes to ask you very long questions and then give you only a couple answers to choose from. The question they ask you sometimes might be two or three or four paragraphs long. Well, you have a finite amount of time to work on this exam. So my advice here is read the answers first. So don't bother looking at the question until you just browse through the answers and skim them. And while you're skimming those answers, what you want to do is find out what the wrong answers are first and eliminate them. All right, and these two things, reading the answers first and then eliminating the clearly wrong answers is going to help you out because then when you go back and read the question, you're going to be better prepared to find out which answer fits into the question they're asking. So you'll be able to much more quickly read through the question then, find out what the topic of the question is, and find the solution for that. Eliminating the wrong answers first is just simply a game of statistics. The fewer answers you have to choose from, the more likely you'll choose the right answer. So even when you don't know the answer to something, don't worry about it. Find out the answers that you definitely know are wrong and cross those off. And if you have to guess, guess from the ones that are left. And always guess, all right? If you don't know the answer, always guess. Never leave it blank. There's no penalty for guessing wrong. There is a penalty for not answering. Save time for your simulations. Hopefully those first two tips will allow you to do that. All right, there's simulations in there, and they're going to take you some time to figure out. And they can be a little overwhelming and frustrating. So save time for them. You're going to want to spend the most time working on those simulations and the least time answering questions. So one of the things you can do there as far as practicing answering questions is get some exam prep questions. Uh, Bozen makes some really good ones, and there are some other ones out there that can help you out as well. And what that will help you do is when you have a test bank of questions to look through, you'll really learn how to look at the answers first, eliminate the wrong ones. This is going to improve your efficiency tremendously. And the last piece of advice I have for you is stop studying for at least four hours before your exam. All right, you're not going to get any more crammed in your brain. If you don't know it four hours before the exam, you don't know it. And you're not going to learn it in those four hours and retain it and be able to apply it to the exam. So just stop. All right, you may want to review uh, some notes before you go into the exam, especially things that you want to jot down quickly. All right, so let me let me speak to that for a second. When you get into the exam, you're given a erasable, well, you can't erase it. You're given a piece of plastic paper and a very fat marker to write with. And you can't really erase on the paper, but you can write down whatever you want on it. So you're not allowed to go into the exam with anything, really. You can't bring your phone, wallet. You can't bring anything into the exam except your person and your clothes. And they give you that scratch paper. So what you may want to do is if, you know, you're struggling remembering the OSI model and its order and the layer numbers, you may want to quickly before you go into the exam, just refresh that, get into your memory. When you walk into the exam, quickly write it down on your piece of plastic paper. Okay. Outside of that, relax. Don't study too hard. Well, study hard, <laughs> but don't study too hard before the exam. All right, stop studying for at least four hours, and I'd almost recommend just stopping studying the night before the exam. Get a good night's sleep, be well rested, so you can go in low stress, high energy, and be able to take and conquer that exam. Thanks for watching the videos, and I look forward to seeing you in future Train Signal videos. Thanks.